today I'm gonna to show you how to play the three easiest Christmas songs to learn on the piano. You're gonna be able to learn these within minutes. Now make sure you stick around for number three because it's gonna blow your mind. It is so easy. I've taught this one to beginners over and over again and without fail, they can play it within minutes. So I know that you're gonna be able to too. This video will get you started playing these songs, but if you wanna see a full tutorial for one of these songs, make sure you comment below with your vote. So this first one is notoriously the easiest Christmas song to play on the piano. Most arrangements usually end up sounding like they're straight out of a children's book. The way that I'm going to show you how to play it today is Jingle Bells Reimagined, or a classier version of Jingle Bells, and it sounds like this. I'll show you how to do it. Typically for jingle bells, your right hand plays at middle C and then your left hand plays an octave below middle C. What we're gonna do for classy jingle bells though is we're gonna move both of our hands up an octave. So left hand's actually gonna be playing at middle C and right hand's gonna be playing at the octave above middle C. Right hand melody is gonna start here on E with finger number three. If you don't know it, I'm just gonna run over it really quickly. It goes like this. Left hand is going to start here at middle C with finger number five, and you're going to play five, one, and then you're going to come right back down, but your pinky is going to slide down to the next key, which is B, back up to G, so thumb doesn't move, back down one more step, one more step. Okay, so your hand is starting here, but it eventually stretches out to here. So left hand, once again, is like this. So when you put it together, it's going to sound like this. Now start out slowly, but eventually you want to speed it up and then try adding the pedal to just really smooth it out. So it'll sound like this. Number two is one of the oldest, most classic Christmas carols. Everybody knows it. As soon as they hear it, it's Silent Night. Now, the traditional version of this has the melody with the right hand and has the left hand just playing the same chord at the beginning. The version that I'm going to show you how to play today is a slightly more moody version, and it sounds like this. Do you hear the shift that makes it sound moody? small shift that makes a huge difference. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. We're going to take our hands up an octave. So we're going to be in the same area as we were for jingle bells. I'm going to go over the right hand melody really quickly. It's going to start on this high G right here with finger number three. I'm going to play one and two and three. One, two, three. One and two and three. One, two, three. We're going to move our pinky up to the high D. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The left hand part is gonna start on middle C and then play G. So you're gonna play one, two, three. Then we're gonna drop down two steps. So our pinky's on A, E. We go right back up. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're gonna drop down one step to G and D. One, two, three. One, two, three. And drop down one more to F and C, and then we're going to move back up to C. When we put it together and add the pedal for smoothness, it'll sound like this. And this last one is my absolute favorite. If you didn't learn any of them, learn this one because it's so easy. What I love about this song is it's very repetitive and you don't have too many hand position changes. So that makes it really nice because once you get to the place that you need to be, you can just kind of stay there. And it's very hard to talk and play at the same time. Right hand is gonna start on the C that's above middle C. So here's middle C, you're starting on this C up here. You're gonna play C, B, C, A. And the rhythm you're gonna use is in a long, short, short, long, or one and two and three and. You're gonna play that pattern 
pattern 12 times. After the 12th time, then you're gonna move up your fingers two steps. So now finger three is on E. You're gonna play the same pattern, just on different notes. So then it's gonna be one and two and three and one and two, three, and you're gonna play that four times. Now with your left hand, you're gonna start with your thumb right below middle C. So here's middle C, you're just gonna slide down two steps. You're gonna be on A, and then you're gonna be on G, and then F, and then E. For the rhythm, you're gonna hold each of those for three beats. So it's gonna be one and two and three and one and two and three and, okay? When you put it together, right hand is going to start. You're gonna play four sets, and then your left hand is gonna come in on the fifth set. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. You're gonna play one and two and three. That's our first one. Two, three, together. One, two, three, four. Play one more time. We can gradually start to get louder. Here's where our left hand is going to move up two steps. One, Make sure you let me know below which one do you want to see a full tutorial for, Jingle Bells, Silent Night, or Carol of the Bells.